Wow, it's time for another show full of tips and ideas from the sales growth leadership expert, Dean Akers. Known for his experience in hyper-growing companies and creating cultures for high-performance teams, here's Dean. So welcome to the Sales and Leadership Ninja Show. I'm your head ninja, Dean Akers, and each week I bring you a rant to stimulate your thinking in the realm of sales and or leadership. Well, this is a this is our uh, next to last show for the year 2019. Um, again, as a podcast, it can be heard forever and ever and ever. But I think it's important because this show I want to talk about. Do you have 2020 vision? And the reason is is we're going into the year 2020, and 2020 vision for our listeners out there is what's called perfect vision. And so I want to make sure that that we kind of recap and, 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 and everybody understands, do they have perfect 2020 uh, uh, vision into their sales and what they're doing and, and the clarity to make them superstars? <clears throat> this week has been a special for me as the year ends. I always reach out to all my ninjas and superstars around the country and uh, recapped with a bunch of them this year. They've, they've all had big successes. Some of our companies have had big successes and um, they reach out to me and and I'm like keeping them focused and clear in their vision for success. And they reminded me of the difference that made them successful. And now I want to remind you what they shared that worked in 2019 and is giving them clear vision into 2020 or what I would call 2020 vision. Well, it starts with their customers. One of the things they've really, really given me big feedback was this year they really focused in 2019 on identifying the customers they didn't have based on the customers they had. And all that was, was doing the research to take their existing customer base, look what they look like, both in size, type of business, what they spent with the particular salesperson or company. And then as they did that, go on the internet and dissect and take apart all the people that are their competitors and what size they were or how big they were or their reference to their best customers. This is doing that DNA research. And what happens is, is when they do this DNA research, they know who their future customer will be because their existing customer is buying what they use. And it's logical to think that the customer they're not doing business with would and could buy what they do. What they do then is after they do the DNA and find out who these clients are, they deep dive and get clear, clear 2020 vision on what they look like. And in this case, they deep dive them. They, they look at them. They, 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 they use Google to find out the the people that are involved, uh, stuff about them. Again, they really understand the, 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 the DNA of the client, the people, what they do, where they're located, the personalities of the people. And in, and while they're doing that, whether it's LinkedIn or other internet sources of social media, they'll find out common people that may know them that they know. And this is really cool. This is really cool. This is what we've taught. And in going into 2020, I want it really be clear. I don't want you to get a referral from somebody you know. So when you find out that they know them, don't call them up and say, could you refer me? Instead, I want you you to use really the stuff we've talked this year. I want you to call them up and say, do you know them? And when they say yes, can I find out about them? And what this is, is where you find out even more of their DNA from somebody that may have a close relationship. Then you go cold call them. And why is this important? You want to own that first impression. You want to own that first impression. And the best way to do it is be the first person that introduces yourself to them slash meets them. And that's the client. So your referral is not somebody that refers you into the client. Your referral or somebody that knows them is really somebody that you can help get deeper information to be able to ask the right open-ended questions to build the relationships and ultimately build a client. So next, you want to make sure that once you meet them, you have clarity in 2020. You know that in 2020, they're going to become your customer. But they're not going to become your customer by going in and puking all over them in the very first meeting. Again, you've gotten your data. You've got their DNA. 
So now you start your touches. And when I talk to my ninjas this this year and they tell me their successes, it was really cool when they explained to me and shared how customers went out of their way to acknowledge their special touches, their handwritten notes, those special cards. I had one of my ninjas call me and say he got a deal because the people he was calling on even referenced that he was the only person that thought about him and sent an actual Thanksgiving Day handwritten note and card. So when you're out there, make sure you're doing these special touches. Get away from these email touches. I see people send an email or hitting LinkedIn going, I thank you for uh, agreeing to be a friend in LinkedIn. Can I call you and sell you something? No, you can't. And I gotta believe, I know people do that and they get, and then I have people go, well, nobody's responding to me. I said, exactly, because you're not following the process. So you wanna get this clarity and these touches and you do not wanna be doing this email blast. You can do email blast for information and blogs and stuff like that. Podcasts you may wanna share with somebody, but don't email them and say, I wanna come you know, see you or get all this stuff. Get very personal with your potential clients. After you've done the DNA and you got that 2020 vision on what you're, they're worth to you, now you can afford to do the right things. I had a client recently say that when we deep dive what the client was worth, it was worth almost 40 grand to them, and they were upset that they had not responded from their their LinkedIn request to 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 allow them to come out and pitch them. Are you kidding me? If they're worth that much, take the time to develop them. It's a lot of money they're going to spend with you, and make your relationship with them special. So, again in 2020, 2020 vision, 2020 clarity. So, I want you to remind yourself today after this after this rant that you want to get clarity going into 2020. You want to have 2020 vision and clarity. You want to build your client potential client base out. You want to start working them. You want to actually go back to old episodes and make sure that you're listening to some of the stuff, the three circles, a lot of the other cool things that we've shared this year. And the reason is, I want to make sure that your 2020 vision is clear. Your 2020 year is going to be a great year. And actually, 2020 year is going to be a clear, big year of success. Again, if you want the sales basics, reach out to help at adjunctco.com. That's help at adjunctco.com. And I'll always answer every email. I look forward to all my ninjas reaching out to me and letting me know what they got going on. And again, make 2020 crystal clear. Use your 2020 vision to create a 2020 vision of clarity to be highly successful. Have a great, great week. Talk to you soon. We hope you enjoyed this week's show. Subscribe today to our podcast and send questions or thoughts to help at DeanAcres.com. Also, visit us at www.DeanAcres.com to listen to prior shows and view helpful videos. Also, great tips to download. Thanks again. See you next week.